I'm Scott Hutchins, I'm the WRA Director and we're at the Birdland Pump Station. There's a new pump station being built here and there was a need to upgrade the old pump station that was built in 1964 to a new pump station that can handle the increasing capacity of the sanitary sewer system so we can remove and eliminate the combined sewer overflow at this location. It's preferred to have those systems separated. We will not discharge sanitary sewer flow into the river anymore at this location. All that will be pumped down to the wastewater treatment plant. This one will be a bigger capacity, so we won't have to rebuild this station anytime soon. It'll handle all the growth coming into this facility. We worked with the neighborhood on the design of the facility so that it blends in better with the, with the architecture of the neighborhood. The old building was just a brick building and kind of stuck out. So we really worked hard to make sure that it blends in with the uh, existing architecture of the neighborhood so it can be something that, you know, it's gonna be nice to look at when it's finished as well. The old pump station will remain active until the new pump station, so there shouldn't be any disruption in service as far as the sanitary sewer pumping. This project, it was about a $19.4 million project. It's anticipated to be completed in the second half of 2024. The construction limits are confined to this work area right here. So hopefully we're trying to minimize the disruption of the area and get this project completed as fast as possible so we can make sure that we continue to be a good steward of the environment and clean the wastewater to the best of our ability.